Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Wednesday, September 21st, 2022. And we begin with an answer to a question that will simultaneously blow your mind and make your skin crawl. Scientists with an aptitude for ants decided to find out just how many of the picnic pests live among us. The total, 20 quadrillion, which when written out is the number 20, followed by a dizzying string of 15 zeros. That means there are 2.5 million ants for each and every person on the planet. Researchers from the University of Hong Kong then calculated the total weight of all those ants, and it came to more than all birds and animals combined. As astounding as these numbers are, they might actually be on the low side because some areas of Africa and Asia didn't participate in the study. So why count ants in the first place? Because they are considered essential to our ecosystem. As the late scientist E.O. Wilson once said, Ants are the little things that run the world. Fiona is picking up speed. The hurricane that first slammed into Puerto Rico as a Category 1 went on to pummel the Turks and Caicos as a Category 3, and now it's put a bullseye on Bermuda. Forecasters predict it'll slam ashore there late tomorrow, possibly as a Category 4 with winds as high as 140 miles an hour. In its wake, there's already an historic mess. Up to 25 inches of rain fell on parts of Puerto Rico. Flooding is widespread and power is still out to most of the island. So far, the storm track keeps Fiona well off the U.S. coastline, but it could hit easternmost Canada by the weekend. For the first time in three years, world leaders are meeting in person at the United Nations. The exception is Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the only person allowed to speak to the assembly remotely. Against the objections of Russia, members overwhelmingly voted to let him pre-tape his war update and remain in Ukraine. President Biden will also give a speech today. He left London shortly after the Queen's funeral on Monday, spent a day in D.C., then boarded Air Force One for the quick trip to the U.N. in New York City. There's a big test today to determine whether NASA's moon rocket will launch next week. Engineers will feed super-cold hydrogen fuel through the lines and connections that leaked the last time they tried to get Artemis 1 off the ground. If it works, blastoff could come as early as Tuesday. If it doesn't, they'll likely have to roll the rocket back into the hangar for more repairs. Also up in the air, whether the mission's self-destruct system will get certified in time. That's a safety measure for those in the launch area and requires a sign-off from the U.S. Space Force. In other Kid News notes, ever wondered what it sounds like when space rocks slam into Mars? Wonder no more. NASA has posted a recording of a meteor hitting the red planet about a year ago. The audio only lasts about three seconds, begins with a hiss, and ends with a bloop. If you'd like to hear it for yourself, we've put a link on our resource page. And say happy birthday to the emoji. 40 years ago, computer science professor Scott Fallman from Carnegie Mellon University combined a colon, hyphen, and end parentheses to create a sideways smile that added a little levity and some context to whatever he was sending his colleagues. Guinness has confirmed it as the first digital emoticon and the forerunner to today's 3,600 faces, symbols, and gestures. That's it for Kid News. Now today's Kid News quiz. According to researchers from Hong Kong, how many ants are crawling around our planet? 20 quadrillion. Hurricane Fiona could be a Category 4 storm when it bears down on what island? Bermuda. The UN is meeting in person for the first time in three years. Who is the only leader being allowed to address the gathering remotely? Ukrainian President Zelensky. And NASA just released audio of what hitting what? A space rock hitting Mars. 
In today's Kid News Kicker, the total number of people who watched the Queen's funeral on TV still isn't known. Estimates put it north of 4 billion. For those of you who may have watched or even just saw some of the pictures, you no doubt got a glimpse of the Queen's crown. It was first made for Elizabeth's father back in 1937. It's made of gold, 2,868 diamonds, 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds, 269 pearls, and four rubies. It now passes down to King Charles III. Before we head out, we want to say thank you again to the Legette family of Washington, D.C., and give a big Kid News shout-out to all of Caitlin's classmates at Key Elementary. We also want to say hello to Mrs. Kent and her hawks at Hinks Elementary in Alpena, Michigan, Mrs. Harper and her roadrunners at Robbins K-8 in Tucson, Arizona, and to California for Ms. Nance and her hawks at Hacienda Environmental Science Magnet School in San Jose, and Mrs. Delegata and her rascals at Roland Elementary in Roland Heights. Thanks for listening, everyone. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning. <laughs>